Hi, this is David Guest. Today we're going to be talking a bit about working styles. Now, working styles is uh, something that we can use in leadership and understanding how we communicate with other people. And if we look at the window on the screen right now, you'll notice that there's two sort of uh, axes here. The first one is what's known as self-respect, or a person's respect for themselves. And across the bottom there, we have respect for others as well. Now, as we work around the window, we're going to talk about the different personalities and how they interact with each other. So if we start with low self-respect and low respect for others, we have a personality type that is a lose-lose. Now, bearing in mind that these are situational relationships, which means it might be someone's behavior during a particular activity. Now, a lose-lose situation is where someone basically has low self-respect, which means they don't care about themselves or their own personal outcomes. And they have low respect for others as well, which means that they are generally someone who's going to uh, pull people down. Now, the issue with this sort of behavior is generally, if you wanted to personify it, would be like a suicide bomber, which means we can't negotiate with this person because their objective is just to create a lose-lose situation for themselves and for everybody involved, also known as manipulative, aggressive type of behavior. Now, my suggestion is if you have this sort of behavior within your team, you need to eliminate it pretty quickly because all it's going to do is cause aggravation and it's going to cause bad outcomes for everybody involved. The next one we want to look at is up in the top left corner, which is high self-respect but low respect for others. Now, personifying this type of behavior would be like a schoolyard bully. Now, the issue with a schoolyard bully is they're always right. They think they know everything and everyone else doesn't have a clue. Um, the typical behavior of the schoolyard bully is to take control of the situation by telling people exactly what to do. And when people don't perform, they are very quick to chastise, they're very quick to blame, and they're very quick to make themselves look good at the expense of others, hence the win-lose situation. Now, this is known more as a hostile aggressive rather than manipulative aggressive because this person generally is the guy with the iron fist. And, you know, their sort of opinion is if I want it done, I've got to do it myself. I'm surrounded by idiots. It's my way or the highway. If I wanted your opinion, I'd give it to you. That's the sort of language of this type of person. Now, we see this often in the workplace through managers, through uh, leaders or through anybody who's in a senior position because they tend to like to control people by telling them exactly what to do. On the other side of the window we have what's called a low self-respect and high respect for others type personality also known as a lose-win. Now if we're going to personify this one this would be like a doormat type personality and what I mean by that is this person is willing to sacrifice themselves to allow others to win. Now sometimes it sounds very gracious to do that because that's being humble but the issue with this sort of behavior is that that person will generally uh, lose. So they'll basically give away their position or they'll, they'll not give their opinion so that they can allow the other person to win. Now, this subservient kind of behavior is known as passive. And these passive kinds of people, one of the biggest issues with them is that they aren't very easy to negotiate with because they generally don't want to have an opinion because they fear being judged. Now, the real issue that occurs is when we have these passive people, they're generally attracted to the hostile aggressive. Now what I mean by that is they like working for people and in environments where people will tell them what to do and all they need to do is show up and do what they're told because then it's never their fault. But the issue with these two behaviors is that they become what's called codependent. And what I mean by that is one can't survive without the other. In other words, you can't have a bully without someone to bully. And the other thing is you can't be a doormat without someone walking over you. So what tends to happen in a lot of work environments is you'll have this very pushy boss who actually tells people what they want done and basically pushes people along and pushes people along and that ends up attracting the lose-win or the passive personality. So it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy when this person says, well, you know, these people would do nothing if it wasn't for me being around. Now, the real issue with this sort of behavior is that it tends to uh, be, there's no synergy in this sort of environment. It tends to be the codependence, which means we need two people to get the result. What we're actually aiming for in the workplace is to go for what's called a win-win. Now, let's talk a little bit about that one, because that's where someone has high self-respect and high respect for others. Now, this situation is also known as being assertive. Now, let's talk about what the difference between aggressive and assertive is, because most people aren't clear on this one. And, pe and the people we speak to often say, look, I don't like being assertive, it's a bit too pushy. Now, the difference between aggressive and assertive is um, that the assertive person is looking for a win for both parties, which means they might be pushy, but they're also doing that with the best interests of the other person in mind. 
where the aggressive person might be pushy, but they're doing it from a point of view of them winning at the cost of the other person. Now, the reason this assertive behavior is so important is because this is where synergy is created. Now, imagine if all of your team were in this situation where they had high self-respect and high respect for their peers or the other people they work for. What it means is you can have healthy discussions around what needs to be done in the workplace. People will stand up for their opinion without fear of being knocked down, but they're also engaging because they feel it's a healthy conversation to have. So this whole idea of being assertive within the workplace is quite key. And one of the major questions is, well, how do I create an assertive environment? Um, the easiest answer is to become assertive yourself in the first place. And that means giving people the opportunity to speak without criticizing them, allowing them to understand it's a safe environment so that uh, we're looking for resolution or resolution of the problem. So we're looking to discuss some of the options. We don't want people backing down and saying, ah, you know what, it's your problem. You sort it out and you let me know what you want done because that's passive. We don't want people coming in saying, well, I want you to do it this way because this is the right way and I don't care what anyone else says because that's now being aggressive. So what we want to do is we want to get healthy engagement because really in this win-win environment, high self-respect and high respect for others is the only place where we're going to get synergy and we're going to get growth. Thanks very much for your time.